I'm just trying to confuse you guys so much, aren't I? Shapes and colors confusion. Hey there, my name is Jonathan, and this is my voice dying, and this is Stefan. Welcome to Just Eyeball It. Is this too far away? Is this, is this, uh, is that bad? Yeah, that's, that's better, I think. So a few months ago, I tweeted at Jonathan telling him that I wanted to bleach and also dye my hair, and that is what is happening now. And to do that, we are not going to an expensive salon. As you are probably aware, people of the internet are extremely cheap. So how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Uh, I am blanched with terror. Now the goal here is to make Stefan's general face area go from being this to this. Now in order to safely bleach your hair and not have it fall out, you have to kind of not wash it for a couple days. It is a rat's nest up here. So the first step is to take your envelope of bleach powder and to put it into some sort of receptacle. <gasps> this is terrifying. Usually when you're bleaching, you'll mix some sort of powder with some sort of liquidy thing. It doesn't even smell terrible. Maybe we shouldn't be sniffing bleach. So this stuff has a tendency to completely ruin clothing. So you're gonna need a towel on you. It's just like getting a haircut. So depending on how strong this stuff is, whether it's 10 volume, 20 volume, 30, 40 volume, 40 is the strongest, by the way. It'll take a different amount of time to do the bleaching stuff. For what we want to do, it's going to take about 20 minutes. So, put a timer on your phone or some sort of other device. <laughs> the great thing about this is that if you are having problems with farting, you won't be able to smell it because this stuff oh smells no, like oh bleach. No, oh no. Now, okay. Start at the front, start at the front. You start by painting this into the hair. I feel so weird playing with hair. You should use gloves on your hands, but I don't really care. So how's your week been? It's been super good. How's school? School is great. I tell you about uh, my sister. My sister's crazy. She bought a cat. You might notice that it makes some fumes. Turn on a fan. Much better. Okay, once the time's up, you need to rinse that shit out of your hair. Otherwise, it will get fried. You need to get this out of here. As Please. you can see, the transformation uh, is... Beauty queen. Mostly complete. Beautiful. I look like vanilla ice with more hair. The next order of business is to put some hair dye in there. If we just put this purple hair dye, you will not be able to differentiate between this sweater and this hair. Oh yeah, a patch. The thing to do is to take your conditioner-based dye and mix it with more conditioner. If you're going for a very light color, remember that purple cancels out yellow and blue cancels out orange. And color theory. So this is what the dye looks like mixed with a whole bunch of conditioner. You don't really have to worry about how long you have the stuff in. As long as it's in there for more than a half hour, you're probably okay. So you just start by doing the exact same thing that you did with the other stuff. This is the part where you wait a long time and do something else. A while has passed. Now it is time to rinse out that stuff of the hair. Ta-da! Exactly what it looked like before. Here's the thing. If you don't bleach it enough, then you're just going to go back exactly to what your natural hair color was before. And Which purple. doesn't make any sense. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm not entirely sure why you guys wanted me to make more DIY videos because clearly this is not turning out to be the greatest of ideas. But that's okay. Just use more bleach next time. Anyway, bye! Yeah, it is over. Um, <laughs> make sure to check out Stefan's channel, which you can click on this video box right now to get to. Or maybe I'll make another one. Who knows? You'll find the clickable thing. And um, hopefully the second try will be much better. Yeah! Bye. Bye.